Hey guys, it's the Miraculous Guy, and before I start this video, I'm sorry if this video is low-key bad. I've never done a tier list on this channel before, and I feel like I did a pretty bad job at it. But, hey, please, if you could, like the video. I spent a long time on this. This is my 1,000 subscriber special, and we're almost at 1 million views. I can't wait. I'll see you guys in the video. Bye! Hey everyone, Miraculous Guy here. Uh, you just watched the intro, so let's jump into this video. We have up in the S tier. We have literally our favorites. We would die for them. We have the coolest motherfreakers. We have, they're fine, they're okay. Um, I don't hate you, but bro. Uh, your name again? Mm -hmm. And annoying motherfreakers. And get the freak off my show, basically. So, let's jump in. So, next, I'll be doing Rain. Now, Rain, I absolutely adore Rain. I think they are a very awesome character, and I love the fact that they have the they them pronouns. I think Rain is really cool, but I wish we got more with Ida and Rain and kind of more of their backstory. Hopefully, we'll get it in these last three episodes. Next up, we have Owlbert. I really like Owlbert. He's very cute, and maybe I like him a little bit more than Rain. <laughs> maybe. I really wish we got to see more of Owlbert. Next up is the principal, Principal Bump, and honestly, I wasn't really a fan of Principal Bump, but I really didn't mind him, so I guess he's fine. Next up, we have this female who was in the background of, I think, the first episode. Now, I really like her design. I feel like her design was really good, and it just really stuck with me, and her voice really memorable i wish we got to see more of this background character to be honest let's go with willow's dads i think they're cool they're just chill i feel like they're awesome and i will put her utter dad up there as well now this character i did forget her name but i always remembered her i remembered her as that one cool character that everybody loved Vinny, i love you i would die for you i think you are an amazing character and I love the first day. That episode was so amazing, in my opinion. Alright, let's go on to some important characters. Let's go with Willow. Now, I do not hate Willow. That's something you have to know. I do not hate Willow, but the thing is... I feel like her character was really wasted after season one. Like, I don't know. I just feel like she's not really a character that is important, even though she's a main character. And same with Gus. I feel like Gus was really unused after season one, if I'm going to be honest. I love them, but I just think they were just pushed to the side. Not that I hate them, but I really wish they got more development other than just aging up a little bit. All right, let's go with the nose girl. Now, her name is Tanella, I think. And honestly, I know she's voiced by Dana Terris, but I'm just not a fan. I feel like in some instances, she's really annoying and her one-liners are just kind of like, why? But I don't necessarily hate her. It's just sometimes she just gets a little bit annoying for my taste, at least. You already know I have to put Gus's dad with the other dads. He's just that cool. Honestly, Matt wasn't that bad of a character, but you know, he did kind of have a frenemy relationship with Gus. But yeah, I found him really annoying at times not to say he's a bad character who didn't have a semi change of heart let's move on to king now king is honestly one of my favorite characters in the show he is voiced by the legendary alex hirsch i loved him since the first episode and i have absolutely no problems with king and his character i think it's pretty solid not gonna lie i think these guys looked kind of cool not really much of a fan of Bria. She was very disrespectful, very greedy, and very abusive to Gus and Matt. Yeah, sorry, you're gonna have to go in the annoying mother freakers. I might have changed this, but I can't really do it now. All right, next up, we're gonna go with Amity's dad. Now, I actually like Amity's dad. Uh, you know, he had a complete change of heart. I was not expecting what I saw with his character, and I actually really like him. He's nothing like Amity's mom. Alright, since we did do Amity's dad, let's do Amity's mom. 
Olivia, I think her name is. I really like her voice actress. Uh, it's actually Seth MacFarlane's sister, you know, the creator of Family Guy. But at the same time, I find her really annoying and her character, it's not bad, but she's just a character of really bad intentions. You know, she's really controlling over Amity. Let's go with Basha. Uh, Basha, really annoying, uh, especially in the Lumity scenes. You know, she's kind of just trying to troll on them, but it doesn't really work. And it's just, it's kind of annoying. I don't know why she does it, but, you know, she does it to be mean, which doesn't really work. And it's just kind of like, stop just stop at this point i'm gonna be honest basha also if i could go back and change this i would put matt in either the high annoying or i don't hate you but bro i'm so sorry let's go with amity's brother eric i believe his name is um not bad uh i found him really funny but i don't like him as much as his two sisters if i'm going to be honest but you know, I feel like he did have more character than, say, Gus or Willow, and I just found him more entertaining. Since we did just do Edric, let's do Amira, the sister. I really like Amira. I feel like she's a really great character. Um, I love her as much as her brother. Not as much as her brother, but I feel like she is way better than her brother. I really like her character design. And uh, if I could change Edric, I would change him to the cool mother freakers instead of they're just fine, if I'm going to be honest. All right, let's go with Kikimura. Now, a lot of people do not like Kikimura, mostly because she was a villain and kind of a bad character. But I'm not going to lie, I've always kind of liked her and her character design. I think she's actually really cool, especially with the last few episodes we just got really a big change of heart so i'm glad to see her always scara that's it just scara i already you already know where i'm gonna put her uh let's go with Luce's mom uh i like Luce's mom i feel like Luce's mom was a really great character i'm so glad we got to see some earth episodes as well dare i say she had more development than gus and willow let's go with ida the owl lady what else can I say? I mean, she's just as good as King as one of the main characters. I really like Ida. She has an explosive personality, but I do wish we got to see more of Ida and Rain, if I'm going to be honest. Lilith, 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 Lilith is a small bean. I absolutely love Lilith. She is about probably my second favorite character on the show she had so much development since season one and she's just really great overall i feel like her character was really well written one of the best written characters i've ever seen all right let's go with hootie very unpopular opinion but i find hootie Very annoying, if I'm going to be honest. I find him very annoying. I am so sorry to all you hootie lovers. Also, in no way do I hate this character. I just feel like at times he's really annoying and it really sucks how he has a relationship, well, a friendship with one of my favorite characters. I don't hate you, hootie, but you are very annoying at times. All right, Hunter is a very interesting character. Uh... I don't really get his backstory, if I'm going to be honest. It's very confusing to me. I know a lot of you Owl House, really bad Owl House fan, not bad, but, you know, if some of you are really into the Owl House, you will completely understand it. But if I'm going to be honest, as a fan, as an average fan, I don't really understand Hunter's backstory and his motivations. I feel like Gus and Willow were pushed to the side by Hunter, which was kind of a new character, and that's something you don't want to do with your series. I don't hate Hunter, but I'm I have a really hard time understanding his character. If I'm going to be honest, Emperor Bellos may be kind of a wasted villain a little bit. Uh I don't like the way they utilized him in season one. I felt like it should have been a lower threat at that point for Luce. And I feel like they should have saved him for a big finale, in my opinion. Sure, I do like some of his um, attributes in season two more than season one. Because, you know, we actually get to explore his character more. But in all honesty, I wish he was a much larger threat. But he is not that bad of a character. 
we have the amazing Amity Blight. Amity, amazing character. Absolutely love her writing. This is how you write a character. This is how you write a redemption arc. Thomas Astruck, do you know? That's how you do it. Amity is an absolutely adorable and amazingly written character. I'm so glad that she's just the way she is. She's amazing. I feel like she is. And I love the blooming romance between Amity and Luce. I feel like it's really genuine. I want to do a review on what I think of season two. And I definitely will do that because I do have some problems with Lumity. But other than that, perfect. And you can't have Amity without her counterpart, Luce. No, say that. Now, Luce is the main character of the show in the earlier episodes of season one I did relate with her a lot with the whole weirdo situation and I f I saw a lot of myself in Luce uh, and I thought she was really cute and really adorable but season two is where it really changed uh, I did like certain episodes such as that episode reaching out where it really went in depth about her father and how she had to deal with that. Uh, but I feel like a lot of episodes in season two could have been changed. I wasn't really a big fan of where they were taking the narrative. That's why I want to make a review on season two. But other than that, I thought Luce was a good character. Maybe not as good as Amity or Lilith who had amazing writing, but I feel like she is a really good character who can relate to a lot of kids nowadays especially me so i'm so glad i had i got to have loose as a main character and i think that wraps up the video all right well how'd you guys like the ranking please tell me i just hit my mic oh my god apologies apologies but tell me what you thought about this video right down below and tell me how your ranking would go i would love to hear it please respect my opinion i respect yours if you want more subscriber specials like this or if you want more tier list in general please also tell me down below this was absolutely wonderful thank you guys so much for 1 million views and 1000 subscribers it took me three years to get to this point and you know, I'm thankful for all of you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. There's nothing more than I can say about you because you are amazing. So how about you have a wonderful day or night wherever you're in the world and me, the miraculous guy, I'll see you later. Up, up, and away! <laughs> wow, the likes and comments are blowing up my phone. I think I'm- I'm subscribed!